Hi, welcome back. Today we will discuss about second conditional sentences. How to use them in daily conversation. My name is Deva Brotharaya. Let us start. I give you some examples to explain. If I had a car, I would travel all the time. But the reality is that I don't have a car. Here you will find two clauses. One, first one, condition and the second one, result. Condition is that if I had a car and result, I would travel all the time. So it is about a present or future situation of low probability. We can also use in case of zero probability or hypothetical situations. Let us see. In the condition part, if part, the clause is used as simple past. Subject plus past form of the verb. And in result part, in the second part of the sentence, subject plus would plus base verb. So what is base verb? Base verb means present form of the verb without s or es like go but you cannot use went or gone after would so the complete sentence is if i had a car i would travel all the time if i had a lot of money i would travel the world but the reality is that i don't have a lot of money but I am thinking, it's a hypothetical situation where I am imagining that I have a lot of money. If I had some time tomorrow, I would join the party. But in reality, I don't have time tomorrow because I have some jobs to be done. So basically, I won't be able to join the party. The past form of the verb don't indicate the past time. It indicates the low probability. If I won the lottery, I would buy an expensive car. But there is no chance of winning a lottery because I didn't purchase any lottery. It's just an imagination. If he knew my condition, he would contact me. But unfortunately, he doesn't know my condition. We can use the result part at the beginning of the sentence. Like, we would let you know if we selected you. In this case, there will be no comma in between the clauses. Though it's not important when you speak, because you need not to worry about commas when you speak. Here, subject plus would verb in the first clause, and in the second clause, subject plus past form of the verb. That means simple past. If I were you, I would accept the offer. Here, second conditional sentence is used in the sense of zero probability. I cannot be you. So, I were, not I was. I cannot be you, but I am just suggesting if I were you, what would I do? Where verb used after the Pronouns I, he, she, it, you, we, they, not was. I was wrong. I wear. This type of sentences are used for suggesting something. If I were you, I would say sorry. If I were your guardian, I wouldn't allow you to go. If I were a doctor, I would suggest you complete rest. But I am not a doctor. So now let us know where it is different from first conditional. If I became the teacher, I would love the students. If I become the teacher, I will love the students. Both sentences are correct. But means the different things. We can use the both sentences. In the first sentence, if I became the teacher, 
here the probability of becoming my teacher is zero because I didn't appear for any exam to be a teacher. So it's just an imagination, hypothetical situation. I wouldn't be a teacher, but I am su suggesting what would I do if I became a teacher. In the second sentence, if I become the teacher, here there is a probability that I become a teacher because I have appeared in an exam where I may be selected as a teacher. So what will I do if I become the teacher? I will love the students. There is a real probability. If first one happens, then the second one will happen obviously. But in the first sentence, there is just a probability. But the probability is zero. We can use models might, could instead of would. If we fought, I would win. Though there is no probability that we will fight, but if we fought, I would win. That is certain. If we fought, I might win. There is the probability that I may win, though I will not fight with you. If we fought, I could win. That means, though there is a low probability that we will fight, but if we will fight, in me there is the ability to win. Now I am asking you some simple questions in second conditional. Try to reply it in comment box. What would you do if you became the Prime Minister? What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if she asked you to marry? It's an interesting question. Please imagine. What would you do if you were selected in the reality show? Now there are many reality shows. Please imagine. I have earlier explained zero conditional and first conditional sentences in my previous video. You can check it in the channel. And I would like to upload more videos about third conditional and fourth conditional sentences in upcoming videos. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so that I can upload more and more videos for you. And put your comments below. You can press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I upload my next videos. So without knowing this simple basic grammar, you cannot speak fluently in English. If you want to practice spoken English, then you can join my WhatsApp group. I have given the link in the description box. I have posted the links of other videos in the description box. You can visit them also. And thanks for listening to me. And I hope that you enjoyed the video a lot. Thanks again.